Prophet Isa a.s. was born without a father. What is the reason for that? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala blessed prophets of God with miracles. And why did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless the prophets of God? Or why did Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala bless the messengers of the messengers with miracles? Is so that people they realize that this person he is a messenger of Almighty God and they realize that you need to worship only one God alone. Prophet Isa alayhi salam he performed several miracles by the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. For example, healing the lepers, giving life to the dead, healing those born blind. These miracles were performed by Isa alayhi salam by the permission of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And one of the miracles that Isa alayhi salam was gifted with that he was born miraculously without any male intervention. And we know Maryam alayhi salam, she was a chaste woman. So this was one of the miracles so that people they realize that Isa alayhi salam, he is a messenger of Almighty God. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, when he sent down messengers, the messengers they performed miracles. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala can do what he wishes. So he blesses different prophets with different miracles. So that it is a clear indication for the people to whom messengers have been sent that they need to follow so that they realize that this person is a messenger of Almighty God and so that they realize that they need to worship one God alone. So even Isa alayhi salam, he was blessed with miracles and one of the miracles was that he was born miraculously without any male intervention. We pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala that may He give us the best in this world as well as the best in the hereafter and may He save us from the torment, from the punishment of the hellfire. And we always should see to that we remember our Palestinian brothers and sisters. This is a crucial time. They are undergoing a great test and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant them patience and perseverance. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward them and may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala admit those who have lost their lives into the highest level in Jannah, into Jannah al -Firdos. Several thousands of Palestinians, people in Gaza have been killed over more than two months. In fact, close to three months. And we know that Israel is committing a genocide to our Palestinian brothers and sisters. And dua, it is the weapon of a believer. We need to constantly do dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And at the same time, see to that we raise more and more awareness on social media regarding this. And Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says in the glorious Quran. And I would like to end with this verse of Surah Al-Ibrahim, chapter 14, where Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, وَلَا تَحْسَبَنَّ اللَّهَ غَافِلًا عَمَّا يَعْمَلُ الظَّالِمُونَ and do not think that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is unaware of what the oppressors do. That Allah delays their punishment for a day when they will see it in horror. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, He is aware of what oppression is happening to the Palestinian brothers and sisters. He is aware of what oppression happens around the world. But it is a test for our Palestinian brothers and sisters. Will they be patient or will they lose hope and will they lose despair in Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala? So our Palestinian brothers and sisters, they have been chosen for this great test. And if they pass in this test, they will be rewarded, inshallah, with the highest level in Jannah, that is Jannah al -Firdaus. And we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala admit them into Jannah al -Firdaus, into the gardens of paradise, بغير حساب, without accountability. And we pray to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, that may he give us the best in this world, as well as the best in the hereafter. And may he admit us into the gardens of paradise, and may he save us from the torment of the hellfire. Allahumma ameen.